Hi everyone, it's Kay here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm going to be doing um, Daphne's Diary glue book today with some elements that I've already chosen <laughs> because just to um, uh, cut down on the time because of this, would you believe, I feel that sometimes colour actually takes longer than you think. <laughs> I'll just, I just do like using the images from Daphne's Diary and people ask me which Daphne's Diary am I using them for but I can't tell you because I just use them from a variety of um, issues and uh, I just put them all together in this this big box that I have here. Put them all in there so I couldn't tell you which, which ones are which. I just cut out, go through them, go through the magazine and read it and cut out all the things that I would like to use. Um, and then afterwards work out what goes together really. I like to sort of try and sort of build a bit of a like a, a picture that sort of makes a bit of sense really. So in this particular collage I'm just going to do sort of like a crafty type page where you know, like ever if you have all your crafty stuff, you have it all in one place. So everything in one place. I thought that was a very apt quote. Well, try to have everything in one place. It's all in here, but I do do know that some people don't have that luxury of having a space and craft on their ta dining room tables and whatever else they can use to. To craft on. So it's very sort of things here. This 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 doll here was made by somebody from scratch by crafting. It's so so clever, so clever. So I thought I'd put all those things together because they sort of went together. How do I want this needle to look underneath, maybe? Like that. That looks, I quite like that. I did have these other things here, but I just think it's um, too busy to have them in there. Had a bit of a mistake before, so a bit of glue there. This is the second time I've tried to do this page. <laughs> oh, anyway, I quite like that. Looks a bit. That looks fine. And so for the next collage, I'm going to do these all these elements here to see how it works out. So I'm going to stick down this bottom here. And measure it because I might have some of the top that I don't know yet cut it could use a knife and a ruler but trim is just there So by the time you see this video, um, my oldest daughter will be back from her trek. My uh, son-in-law arrived this morning um, just to have a talk about um, things they want us to help them with because they're having new windows in their house. Double glazing because the window, the house that they bought is was built in 1910, so it just needs windows that sort of work a bit better. And um, because they're sort of not don't live too far away from a concrete factory, they want to sort of keep the dust down to a minimum. So this one I'm doing a teddy bear's picnic. 
You know how you, you have your teddy bears and you take them on a picnic? I remember once we, um, our daughter's kindy did that once. And, you know, took a plate of food and kids took their teddies and whatever they wanted to take and had a picnic out in the grass. It was fun. I don't know if you can do that sort of stuff anymore because there's so many... Um, children with allergies you've got to be careful I don't even know if parents take are allowed to take cakes you know we used to take sometimes sometimes parents used to bring a birthday cake in for their children to celebrate their birthday because you know the children would say can I have the whole class and it gets you can't have the whole class it gets a bit much so I'm going to put this teapot here very pretty with a fairy on it but there were other teapots but this one I liked <laughs> so the teddy is bigger than the teddy so this is a very big big so the teddy is tiny I suppose sitting on the mat here ready for its picnic the big cup I don't know if people have big cups of coffee or tea. They tend to more have more cups of big cups of coffee. I don't know. I've never. I, I can only speak from personal experience because I don't really have big big tea, big um big cups of tea. Some biscuits to go with the cups of tea, of course. This looks a bit flat. I'm just going to do a bit of baking this morning, ready for the picnic. Made some hundreds and thousands of biscuits, yeah. <laughs> Don't do anything, I made hundreds and thousands of picnics, pick, uh, biscuits when my daughters were younger, mainly because I made other things. Now I hardly, hardly ever make anything from scratch anymore. I used to do always everything from scratch, but not anymore. So just this, this feels a bit bare up there. So I'm going to do this other bit here, just to sort of balance it out a bit. But it's not very straight. So where's my trimmer? I did try a few other things, but in the end I thought, oh. Because I do have a, I have to admit, I do have practice first because all the things I work, have a play first because sometimes all the things I pull out don't necessarily work together. Oh, I don't know. Let's jazz it up a bit. Get my pink and shears. Actually, because you, you know how I film way in advance, it's Sunday today, and I'm not too sure this probably will come out um, next Saturday or Sunday. Um, it's a beautiful day today, today's Anzac Day, and uh, it's going to be 20, um, 28, 26, 20. 28 I think, which is quite warm for this time of the year really. It's a perfect day for people to attend the marches because sometimes quite often it's raining and the, vet, vet, the veterinarians are walk, work, walking today in their march and Anzac Day services this morning at dawn services. There's my teddy bear's picnic. And then for the last page, I'm going to do sort of like an autumn type page. Oh, actually, hang on. This is not. There's trimming here. So, 
husband and I are going up to where my youngest daughter lives, in the country town, to watch our grandsons play football for the first their first match for the season. The eldest being eight, and the youngest is six. No, sorry, seven. I should tell Fib. So um, they play Australian rules football. They're playing half time in the A grade, so they'll do the whole Anzac Day um, thing today. The last post and minute silence and out of respect. For all the people who who have fought for us, and the reason why we have this day is because, of course, it's a day when our first World War um, people went to Gallipoli, which is a beach in Turkey, and was it not a very easy campaign and lots of lots of death I'm pretty sure from memory like we had the roses roses in our garden in our place that we used to live in in Kapunda which is in the country that the best time for roses was autumn but no one seems to sort of grow roses anymore around us it was hard to sort of say for sure. Oh, do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put my carpet down. Just peel that up a bit. And then apples have come out in March, which is autumn for us here. Try again, okay. We're going to have some autumn leaves that have fallen down from a tree somewhere, apart from the apple tree, obviously. <laughs> Maybe the autumn leaves come after, I don't know. Never mind. I just wanted to put them in there because I had them cut out and they're the same colours and <laughs> all the rest of it. The one falling down. And I'm going to put the, the last of the butterflies and the last of the bee before they... Unfortunately, I think a lot of them die in autumn for the winter. The last bit of food collecting. Do they lay their eggs and then... Die butterflies? I don't know when they do that. So, because you normally see butterflies in um, in spring, but with the weather patterns being the way they are, I think they get a bit confused. You see <coughs> butterflies. I'm sure, I saw a butterfly the other day. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. It's me catching my throat. So, this is what I've done today with everything in one place with the crafty sort of page and the teddy bears picnic do you know what I'm not going to write that down because it may not be obvious <laughs> when I go back and have a look at my pages and this page, the autumn page, really love the colours of that one. And uh, 
hope that you've enjoyed those those pages and uh, um, and I I find the collaging is really soothing so even if you don't have Daphne's diary I encourage you to use magazines or or books or anything like that cut out the images and um, make a picture thank you very much for joining me today and uh, we'll see you next video thank you very much bye bye